Hey YouTube, Spurgbot22 here with another video about the trombone. Um, sorry it's been so long. Super busy. I say it every time, but you know, you know how it is. So today I talk about pitch. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I just tried to make like five other videos about this and they were way too long. So basically, um, we'll do a nice simple video. So pitch. Every trombone is different. Every trombone is a different length. B flat trombones are supposed to be nine feet long because that's a nine foot long trombone or a nine foot long tube makes a B flat, a pedal B flat. Um, but not everything is exactly nine feet. There's just little variations. Older trombones are typically longer. Um, newer trombones like this Shires are typically typically shorter. Um, and despite that, see here that I have my tuning slide really far in. That means I'm playing very low on the pitch. And I'll tell you my quick life story. So I started with a Holton back in college, um, my undergrad. And instead of actually tuning, I would just kick my tuning slide out to right here. Because it looked cool and it was like a square. Everything was round or, you know, like each thing was the same dimension. And that was literally how I tuned. I just kicked it out to there and I was usually pretty much in tune. You know, I wasn't stellar or anything. And then I got a Bach 50B. Um, I had that in a few of my videos. Really good horn, but the 50B was a lot longer than my Holton was. Um, somewhere in the slide, I think. Um, and you can compare slides against each other. Sometimes they're longer, and it's really obvious. Anyway, it was longer, so my tuning slide, I think I had to push it all the way in, and I was still flat. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'm playing too low. Um, and, you know, this was the wrong idea, but... I proceeded to bring my pitch up by just playing higher on the pitch for quite some time, the whole time I had that horn. And I just played really high on it, so I kicked my tuning slide out to about the same place that it looked as my Holton, even though overall the horn was now longer, and I was playing very high. And it worked, you know, I played pretty well. Um, I sounded a little brighter than I should have been, just because I was trying to play so high I was kind of pinching, um, using too small of an oral cavity. And then eventually I got this, Shires, which is drastically shorter than the Bach. Probably like three or four inches shorter. Um, and my tuning slide was like falling out to be in tune because I was playing so high. If you're playing high, that means the tuning slide is out farther, right? Um, it's kind of, you get kind of backwards in the correlation sometimes. But um, I was like, uh-oh. And I just played with it really far out for a while. And then I, I was like, maybe... Maybe I'm wrong and I need to play lower. And I remembered, especially in the last um, few months, I remember this quote from Joe Lessy saying he makes all his students play like pretty low on the pitch because it's more relaxed um, and it gets a bigger sound. And I remember that from a long time ago and I was like, well, that's dumb. Why would I do that? And then <laughs> I started doing it and everything got easier. And so over the last few months, I played lower and lower on the pitch. I've probably lowered it like by 40 cents. And now my tuning slide is farther in because I'm playing lower, right? Um, I even get confused on this sometimes. Anyway, so that's my life story. I brought my pitch up and then I brought it back down again even farther than it was before. And what I want to say is that having a very low pitch, even though it sounds kind of like a bad thing, right, um, has made everything better. Um, all my attacks, all my ranges, flexibilities, um, sound, everything is easier now. And that's pretty much because I play really low on the pitch. I mean, I've gotten better as a trombonist. Definitely I've played way more than I ever have. Um, but I attribute a lot of that to just playing lower on the pitch and being more relaxed. Um, and so I'll demonstrate that real fast. Um, so here is where I feel comfortable. I'll play just a short little thing. Uh, e flat may have been a little sharp. That's where I feel comfortable. And it may even be flat if you're sitting there with a tuner going, Burger Bob, you're out of tune. Um, and that's kind of what I'm going for right now. My horn is kind of cold, so it'd be okay to be a little flat. Um, that's where I feel comfortable. That's the middle of my range, um, and it's a lot lower than I used to play. Here's where I used to play. <laughs> hear how much higher that is hopefully that sounds higher um that's really hard for me to do i'm using a lot more effort to play that high um not pressure or anything i'm just 
really trying to lip every note up, and that's what I was trying to do before. Um, not especially good for you. Here's the other end of the spectrum, playing even lower than I do now. And you can hear on both the high and the low that I frack some of the pitches. I'm not comfortable with it. Um, possibly if you practice that all the time, you'd be really good at it. But where I play right now, I feel very comfortable and I have a feeling most people would too. Um, and basically this boils down to every note has a slot, right? Um, I talk about this a little bit in my Boston's video. Um, every note has a low slot. I talk about the lower end of the slot, but every note has an upper end of the slot too. So here's B flat. Um, that wasn't even the lower end. That was the false tone and the major third below. But also when a half step up, you can do that. Almost a tritone low. Um, I can't quite get that low. Some of better than me probably could. Anyway, you see how big a slot is? It's like a, a minor seventh almost. No, a, a minor sixth. There we go. I can I can do math. It's a fifth. There we go. There's math. It's a fifth. That's how big a slot is on every note on the second partial or the B flat partial, um, and even on F partial. <laughs> minor third. You can go up a half step almost and down a whole step. So it's like almost a minor third. That's how much wiggle room you have every time you play an F, E, E flat, D, every note from F down to B. Um, it's huge! <laughs> so if you don't know exactly where you are on that slot, you might be anywhere on it, right? Um, <laughs> three examples. The middle one where I'm comfortable and the low one where I'm not comfortable and the high one where I'm not comfortable. You can see how I'm playing the exact same slide position for each time and I can change the pitch drastically. And of course on an instrument that has two tuning slides um, you can change your pitch kind of a lot with not a lot of work. So really just check into where your pitch is. Sit down maybe with a tuner with a drone Whatever you're most comfortable with, I usually just use a tuner. Um, but you know, some really good teachers advocate drones, so give that a shot too. Um, find out where your pitch is, and maybe it needs to be lower, maybe it needs to be higher. Um, if you have your tuning slide all the way in and you don't sound very good, and you have a lot of trouble with range or something, maybe it needs to be higher. And if you have your tuning slide really far out, and you sound really pinched and you have a hard time playing high, and your low range doesn't sound good, then maybe you need to play lower. And it takes a lot of work. It took me about six months of really just trying to play lower and not playing sharp to really be comfortable just sitting on that B flat and not raising it up because I used to play high. So give that a shot. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully this was informative. Bye-bye.